welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're bringing you kind of a funky episode. We're going to be drinking Topa Chico. They just came out with some hard seltzers and we're going to drink through the line. Tell you all about them. Yay. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, tell us a little bit about Topa Chico. All right, Topa Chico. As you can see, this is the beautiful hard seltzers here. I think most of you guys know it comes in the green bottle. It's been around since 1895 from Monterey, Mexico. But the basic whole history of it is there was this princess back in the late 1400s, and her dad was the king, and she was really sick. She couldn't get better, so they heard from these priests that said, go up to the mountains. There's a special water, and it'll heal you. So they went up to the mountains, swam in it, drank it, and it's supposed to be the special mineral water that became Topa Chica, and that, that's where the history and marketing comes from of what Topa Chico is. All right, so what we got here, we've got – a tangy lemon lime, and all these are 100 calories, 2 grams of sugar, 4.7% alcohol, and gluten-free, which is always mm. nice. We got tropical mango. We've got mm. strawberry guava and exotic pineapple. So I'm just saying, I've got of these beautiful mm, new products. I've got all four of these open in front of me, and I just have this whiff With of fruitiness fruit. coming my way. <laughs> yeah, the and mango is is the least have drank my fair share of topo chico in my life and yeah. it's never healed me <laughs> <laughs> maybe the alcoholic version will who knows maybe it will. It smells like sprite <sighs> yeah it really does smell like sprite like a, like a slightly flat sprite just the you know, that lemon lime mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, that just, mango yeah. that mango something i'm gonna go ahead and drink it out of the can to get the full effect there you go Tastes like Sprite. Yeah. yeah. It's like flat Sprite once again, taste-wise. Yeah. yeah, it's just got a hint of uh, of that um, lime to it, yeah. And Ooh. Yeah. And now there's almost an aspartame kind of coming in. Is it? There's a sweetener hmm. kind of lingering. Does it say that they use aspartame? Sugar. Mm. Sugar? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. so just sugar. Minerals for taste. I should have looked at that before I drank it. Mm -hmm. It is nice and minerally, though. It is. I like it. I like Topo Chico in general, but uh, me too. You know, I like this. this. I think this is good. A nice, <laughs> real basic, um, slightly more lime. I know they make lime Topo Chico. It, it really tastes similar to that to me. Yeah, and, not and quite as limey. For me, that's almost like not enough flavor for me. I need I a little bit more flavor. Well, smell the next one. I can smell it from here. My God. You're right. No. All right. So move on to. Was it tropical mango? Tropical mango. mango. And it uh, smells like tropical mango, all right? Yeah, you can smell it a foot away. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to smell that anymore. Ooh, that smells like, I mean, that smells like mango. If you had like ever had a fresh mango, like especially down in like the Dominican or in Mexico, and that's exactly what it smells like. Yeah, but the flavor is not over, uh, overwhelming. Overwhelming. No, the palate or the no. nose is much more uh, than the palate is. Oh. Again, much flatter than regular Topo Chico, though. Right. I really yeah. enjoy how just how bubbly, bubbly. Topo Chico really is. So it's, I was actually kind of excited about these. Uh, yeah. It's not it's bubbly, but yeah, you're right. It's kind of flat. It's just not as bubbly as I and, was hoping it to be. And we literally just popped these right before we pressed, we started the video. So yeah. it hasn't been sitting out for a while. And neither from but the can or in the glass. I can it? totally see like drinking that after like mowing the lawn on a summer day yeah oh yeah absolutely like, downing that mm -hmm. <laughs> quickly mm. yeah, it, does, yeah. It, it doesn't take much to go down it's a nice mangoey flavor i mean it's a nice flavor it's not overpowering because yeah. i thought it would be really overpowering on the palate but it's really not palate it's just a really nice sweet mango it's it's nice i yeah. think maybe with like if you want to get fancy about it and you know put it in a glass with some ice and have a piece of fruit over it or something to give it a little mm. bit more a little bit more flavor probably quite tasty still it, it just i'm so used to drinking regular straight seltzer water yeah. and you know no flavor to it if i'm going to drink something with flavor i, I want it to have just a little bit more you know i don't know i kind of enjoy just that light hint of flavor especially have. after the nose yeah I'm actually much I'm, I'm more i'm more uh i enjoy the palate much more on the mango for sure because the nose is very mango uh and the palate's just slightly mango I'm moving on to the strawberry, what was it? Strawberry kiwi? Yes. Strawberry, strawberry guava. guava. Strawberry yeah. guava. Hey, at least they're nice and color coded for you. So you can't remember, you can't read the color. It's pretty easy enough to, or you can't read the color. You can't this read the color. Pleasant. Look at the color. 
This is my favorite this, on this. This smells, Ooh, very smells really good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get to the taste on this one. Smells like strawberry guava. I like Ooh, this one the most. I like this one the most too. This one actually has more carbonation to it as well. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly enough, yeah. Mm. Yep, nice mm. strawberry guava. Yep. There's really no other flavor to it. It is the Topo Chico and then that yeah, flavor I mean, flavor that's on it. That's it. There's nothing, there's no other weird things about yeah. it, which is really nice, actually. No. Yeah, you don't, you get a lot of those ones that they're made that they have to add all this extra stuff in there. Yeah. They didn't add any anything extra. It's literally <laughs> bubble water and flavor. Yeah, I, I would say. It's good. I like it. I think that one would be awesome by the pool. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. uh, drop. Let's uh, drop some strawberries and guava fruit in it. Oh man, that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. and, or inject it into like a into something. Be fantastic. All right, let's see what exotic pineapple it smells really good too, and very pineapple-y. Oh, I like pineapple. Me too. I've always been a good big fan of uh, pineapple juice in general, mm -hmm. or pineapples, or anything that has to do with pineapple. And that's not overpowering pineapple either. It's yeah. not it's a nice, light, like the syrup you get like, when you open a can of pineapples. It's going to make me think of pineapple upside down cake all the time now. <laughs> it really does smell like that upside down cake, though. That mm. one's really good, too. Um, oh, my God. I bet if we mix this with the cake, I bet it'd be really amazing. The, uh, the cake, I bet it'd be amazing. I wonder what the carbonation would do in a cake. But yeah, I, I I like the strawberry and I like the pineapple the most. Mm -hmm. um, the other two aren't bad. They're I'm drinkable. Taste back to the first two again. They're completely drinkable, but they don't seem to have as much flavor as the strawberry. Yeah, I don't think they do either. Where is it going? I'm getting the tail of cake. Oh, of course he is. We have to for science. Pineapple upside down cake. Okay, going back to the lemon lime, I'm not getting that metallic note at all. I'm thinking I'm just kind of getting a lime zest. It's kind of a harder lime. Again, that one's the most light on the flavor of these. Yeah, the first one's kind of, like you said, it's kind of like this flat soda. The mango's not for me. It's you're, okay. You're not a big you're not a big fruit fan to begin with, so this is a little bit more difficult for you. Yeah. I'm but, happy that they're not overly flavored. Right. They're not sweet. No. At all. No. They say that there's sugar in it, but... But it's not it's overly very, very sweet. Light. Yeah, again, that one, that strawberry, strawberry guava. Delicious. That's that, that one's my winner. Strawberry guava and the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple's pretty good. Take the pineapple, put a little bit of cherry juice in it. Yeah. I'm going to add some tail cake to it, a splash to see what happens for fun. I'm going to blend all of them together. And see what happens. Hard sell that sounds one like to get fun. in. Because that sounds like fun. Hey, last time with the with the uh, the crown stuff that worked out really well. It oh, really did. The crowns blended together fantastic. All right. Ooh, that's the downfall. Fun. The downfall I've seen Ooh. so far here is that it seems that you have to buy a twelve pack, and you have to buy a twelve pack variety pack. So. If you want to try one, you got to get the whole pack right now. I don't know if that's going to change, but, yeah. and I don't know how much was that? $17.99, 18 bucks? 18 yeah. bucks for 12 Topo Chico hard seltzers. Which yeah. is not a bad price. They Topo Chico's, the market a week. Yeah. Topo Chico's not a cheap seltzer to begin with. No. True. So. And it's a good seltzer. And it, it's a good seltzer. I've had, sorry. Fucking pushy. Uh, I advise not mm. adding the Glen Ronja cake to it. It's not. It was too much. It was way overpowering. So I am going to combine the four and see what happens too for fun. It's not bad. Oh, not bad at all. No, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't like any one particular flavor, mix them. You can mix them and make your uh, make a new flavor. Now you know how to get. Or now you know how to use all four. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. But. I mean, they're they're for what they are, they're good. I, I, and if you're a fan of club soda or seltzer water, um, carbonated water of any sort, um, and I mean, you want something light and refreshing. Yep. 
little these bit are, of alcohol kick. Yeah, these are pretty good. Yeah. I'd recommend them. That mango is still kind of overpowering of all of them, though. Even with in, even in the blend of all four, the mango is overpowering. It's yeah. a strong mango mango flavor. It is. Um, the nose. I like these better than the crown ones. The crown cans can things that we did a while back. Yeah, mm-hmm. those were much more flavored than these are. These are just kind of a light flavor. Yeah, just yeah. in general, I like them better. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I think these are good. I think if you like if you like those uh, fruits, I think you're gonna like them and. I think they're good. I think they did a good job. Yeah. I'm I think I now. think they will be something that you could um, throw back fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. On the lake or, you know, just like I said, after you finish work in the yard or something, mm-hmm. it's refreshing and... and it, what? It's only at 4.7%. 4.7%? You can drink the whole case. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time, keep on crusading for the liquids in your glass. Cheers. What's your chubby? Yep. Now what do I do with four open cans? Mix them. I know. I can't drink that much right now. I'll yeah, feel no. like a racehorse number one. Daytime, daytime drunk. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna pass on that plan.